What's going on everybody, a Respawn Gentleman here. So with the new game plus update, they added 30 new inhibitors into the game. And I'm gonna show you where every single one of them are. Let's get right to it. So the first chest is actually gonna be at the bazaar. Um, you can kind of see it right here on the map. Um, it's in this little water tower thing right there. The easiest way to get up there is to just um, climb on top of the building here, come over to this ledge, and then just work your way all the way around the building until you get to the top and then paraglide your way down to it. Um, there may be easier ways to do it, but that is kind of the way that I found the easiest. So I'm gonna cut to getting over there. All right, so here we are at the top of the bazaar. So we'll just jump down to it, use your paraglider. Now there may be, like I said, there may be other ways to do this without the paraglider, um, but this is the only way I found to be able to get over here. If you find a different way, fantastic. But just open it up and then this one will give you one inhibitor. So for the next inhibitor chest, we're going to be in the Houndfield area. It's going to be kind of right here, right next to kind of like the very end. So this building is where you want to go to. Um, you can see I'm standing on top of this little um, thing. You can see the chest in there. It's guarded by some enemies. So let me go ahead and take care of Exploding Guy. Because he's going to be a problem. And is for some reason hanging upside down. And now that he's out the way and exploded on me. <laughs> Now you just want to run in here. Uh, there's a few other zombies, like there's another one of them. Um, that is one thing I do want to keep in mind is that a lot of times these are going to be guarded. So I'm just going to clear out these zombies real quick and then uh, grab the chest. So I had about four of those exploding zombies show up and virals keep popping in and out as well. So you do need to be careful, so make sure you have something to take care of all of them. But open up the chest here and then we will have another just single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor chest is actually right next to the last one we grabbed um, inside this little open area of the building. You can kind of see um, inside of it here. The chest is right there. When you get over here, there will be a, a lot of mines on the ground. So you do need to be careful to shoot them with a bow or if you have the pan of destiny, use that. Um, and then you can go over here and open up the chest and we get another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor chest is also going to be in Helmfield. Uh, it's going to be over here in this area you can see on the screen. And it's actually inside of this little container here. Again, this one is surrounded by mines, so do destroy those beforehand. There's one over there, but I think I'm far enough away where it won't explode on me. And let's just go ahead and open this up, and this one will give us another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor chest is going to be right next to the Houndfield Electrical Station. Um, this is actually going to be a place that you go to um, if you happen to chase down the sniper um, fairly on, early on in the game. Um, if you just decide to do that then you'll come through this area otherwise you can just make your way over here i like to use this way to access it because when you jump up here you can see there's mines around it so that will be in the hallway if you go through this the story way they will be in there and that will cause problems so if you go through the way i did there won't be any and then you just open this up and then this one's going to give us another single inhibitor the next inhibitor chest is actually going to be right over here at the very bottom of quarry end in the same area that you start the let's waltz mission to get over to the second side of the map um it's actually going to be kind of on the bridge so that you have to go that way to progress the story but you can see if you just come this way on the bridge there's the chest there now it is guarded by this goon so i am going to fight the goon real quick and then open up the chest so this one again is also guarded by mines so once you've defeated the goon also take out the mines and then just open up the chest and this one will give us another single inhibitor the next inhibitor chest is actually at the main terminal station in uh Ori's end and all you need to do is climb on top of the main terminal station and it'll be on this kind of tower right here so if you can climb on top of this one then you can just use your bar jump get right over here that is the easiest way i found to get it we'll open it up and this one is going to give us another single inhibitor so the next inhibitor chest is also going to be in Quarry's end. It's going to be kind of right here, fairly close to the last one we got. And you can actually see the water tower from where you are. You just want to make your way over to this building. This is actually the same kind of building area you go to if you follow the survivors and you need to uh, blow up the windmill. But basically you're looking for this window, which again, you can see the water tower from here. So make sure you can see the water tower and then just go inside and uh, you can follow the path that I'm taking. Um, work all the way down here jump down this little way here now i haven't seen what zombies are in here like we got a viral right there i don't see any um anything really other than virals so let me go take care of this guy 
All right, so that one was pretty easy. Uh, it was just a viral and not really anything else. Just open this one up. And then we get another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor chest is actually going to be in Horseshoe, right next to Jack and Joe's camp. So you can do this during that mission if you want to. Um, but once you kind of make your way up to the very top of uh, Jack and Joe's camp, the top of this building, you can see it right there. And there is a goon and a demolisher just kind of right there waiting. So let me go take care of these guys and then I'll uh, show you the chest. So again, this one is guarded by mines. So once you take out the goon and the demolisher, destroy the mines then open up the chest. And this one will give us another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor chest is actually going to be in downtown and kind of on top of the building where you have the uh, historical communications tower. So once you've made your way up here, it's literally just on top of the building. There's nothing guarding it. It's the only obstacle is just climbing to the top. We get that and we get another single inhibitor. So for the next inhibitor chest directly northwest from the one we just grabbed, you can see it right on here on top of this building. So let me fly over there using my paraglider and uh, I'll show you kind of where it is to grab it. It's just on top of this building. I'll uh, never get over there. We'll open it up. I'm assuming this is also going to be a single inhibitor, but let's see when we get to it. But you can see right here, here's the chest. Again, nothing guarding this one, so you don't have to worry about mines or zombies or anything. Only obstacle is just getting up here, but there is another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor chest is actually going to be directly west from the uh, downtown electrical station. Basically, just head straight west. You'll run into it right here into this little building area. It's inside of this little um, system. And again, uh, there is mines here, so you do want to be careful of that. We destroy these mines and uh, there will be some virals that show up, but I'm going to grab this before they do. And we'll grab this and we get another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor chest is actually going to be directly south from the metro downtown station. So you'll see this building right in front of you as soon as you head south. Let's go around to the other side. You will climb on top of this building and you will see this bus that's hanging from air. Just go inside and grab it. Then it will give us another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor is actually going to be over in St. Paul Island. And this is going to be just north of this quarantine zone as well as the electrical station in this little park area. It'll be inside this green container. Um, there's nothing really on the outside that's going to bother you, but there will be a mine right in front of it as soon as you go in. So you definitely want to take care of that um, so you don't get hurt. Then just open up the chest and then this one will give us another single inhibitor. The next inhibitor chest is going to be in the Church of St. Thomas over on St. Paul Island. You want to head to the west side of the building. You can go through this door. And then just follow the path that I'm taking. Um, there will be a bunch of zombies when you get over here. So you definitely want to take them out. Um, you'll come right through this way. There's a whole bunch on the ground. I already took a few of them out. But I'm going to finish these off and then uh, show you what's in the chest. Okay, now all the zombies are gone. Just open up the chest. And then this one will also give a single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor is going to be in the lower dam eye area. It's actually going to be inside of this kind of building towards this end. I'm going to make your way over to this little staircase. There will be a mine right there, so let's go ahead and take care of that. And then open this up before the virals come. We'll grab this one and it will be another single inhibitor. The next inhibitor is going to be over still in the lower dam eye at the very bottom where the renegade camp is. You want to come over here to the left side of the renegade camp. Now, um, this whole area is covered in chemicals. so That's kind of the obstacle for this one. You want to make sure you get onto this little area that I'm standing on because uh, it's the only place that's close enough where you can get to it. Let's just sprint over here and then open up the chest. And this one will give us another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor chest is going to be also in lower dam ire. You're going to want to go to the south loop radio tower and climb to the top. And once you're making your way up here, um, you'll have to cross this point anyway. You'll get to right here and then you just jump across and open up the chest. And this one will give you another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor is going to be in the newfound lost lands. And if you just grab the one on top of the um, South Loop radio tower, then you can just paraglide your way over here is right next to the Jerry anomaly. And it'll be on the ground inside this green container. Now outside you have a goon and a demolisher. So let me go take care of those. It looks like there's some mines on the ground as well. All you got to do once you've taken care of those is just go inside and the chest is literally as soon as you open the door, grab this one and we get another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor chest is also going to be in Newfound Lost Lands. Now, this area is only accessible during one of the final missions of the game 
or after you've completed the game. So you'll get to, if you're doing it while you're still playing through the story, um, you'll get to this part where you have to go to the home section. Instead of doing that, just take this ladder and follow the path that I'm taking. Um, we need to get to the top of the building outside. So let's just kind of hop on over here. And then you want to come this way and then around this corner, there'll be some stairs. Just go up here. And let's jump on top of the roof. And as soon as we get up here, we just need to jump on top of the next roof. And then we will have our chest as soon as I climb up here. <laughs> okay, here it is right here. Open this up. And then this one will give us another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor is going to be in the New Dawn Park. And you can see here's the fisheye. It's basically directly east on top of this building. So once you get over here, you'll kind of get to this area. You want to get up into this kind of room and then jump up here. And then here is the chest. So go ahead and open this up and we get another single inhibitor. So the next inhibitor is actually going to be right here. As you can see, it's basically directly east from the last one we just grabbed. You want to go into this little um, river area. You'll see this bridge. You can see, that's where we just were was up there. And then inside here, you can see it's underwater. So let's go grab this real quick and open it up. And then it should be probably just one inhibitor, um, but we shall see when we open it. Yep, just a single inhibitor for this one too. So for the next inhibitor, you want to be in the garrison area and you want to go to the VNC tower. Now this one can be done one of two ways. You can either do this during the broadcast mission or you can do this um, afterwards. So if you're doing it afterwards, just make your way into the basement and just follow the path that I'm taking. It'll lead you right to it. If you're doing this through the story mission where you're doing the broadcast mission, um, it might be difficult for you to grab because of the volatiles that are around, but I'll, I'll show you exactly where it is. Okay, so if you remember from, like I said, the main story mission, this is kind of this giant room where there's a whole bunch of zombies and like three volatiles in here. So you definitely want to be careful. Um, you can see it's actually right over here kind of towards the end of the room. So it's difficult to avoid the volatiles, but if you can avoid them or kill them, then all the better. Um, I was able to kill them because you can kind of see I still have the, the Doom Shotgun from my original playthrough on this save. Um, but you, you know, if you have really good equipment, you can probably take them out. So for the next inhibitor, it's going to be right here, kind of towards the top of the BNC tower. Um, if you've already reached the top of the BNC tower and completed the mission and didn't pick this one up, um, then you can, I'll show you how to get there from the top, but this one you'll actually come across as you're making your way up. But basically once you're on the top, you just kind of want to head back down where you came from. Just go all the way down here because we're going quite a way. So you're just going to follow the path that I'm taking here. Uh, you can get down this however you want. This is just how I'm going at the moment. Um, probably would be faster to use like a paraglider, but it's completely up to you how you want to do this. But all we need to do is get right down there, which I'll use a paraglider for this little bit. And okay, once we're over here, let's just jump into this pool. And here it is right here. So this is actually somewhere you'll come across, like I said uh, before. Let me hop up above the water so you can kind of see where I'm at. Um, so in the VNC tower, whenever you're doing this part, climbing up this section, you will come across this. So just jump into the pool and then just right over here. Let's open it up. And inside we have the next inhibitor. So the next inhibitor is going to be right here. Also in the garrison district, I'm on top of this building. It's right next to the VNC tower. So the easiest way to get to this is going to be from the top of the VNC tower. So let's go ahead and head over there and, uh, just jump down to this building now um it's really easy to get over here you should have plenty of stamina to get there it's not very far away but we're just going to glide down here you can see it's kind of just right here um towards the top of this so once you've landed on this section which is the top of the building you just want to kind of hop down and land right here below you if you can catch the ledge great if not then you can just stay on this ledge too as well that's fine but we're gonna try to hop up here and uh Try to use our grappling hook to actually climb things. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult, but you want to be in this room. Uh, there's a couple of zombies in here with me, but I'm not going to worry about them. Go over here and grab this chest. And there's the next inhibitor. 
Now the next one you want to go after is actually going to be on this building right over here. It's right next to the teak windmill if you're looking for kind of where this is. So from the one we just grabbed, we're going to fly over there. So let's jump outside and use a paraglider because it's going to make this a lot easier. And the reason I say go to this building first is because this building is a little bit higher up from where the next inhibitor is going to be. So we'll just go over here. It's just going to be right on top. So just fly over there and I'll cut to me being on top of the building. All right, so once you get to the top of the building, just make sure you drop down here um, and it's going to be inside this. There is a mine there, so be careful. Um, I almost landed on it. <laughs> Simply honesty it would have been really bad, but just go here and uh, open this up and you'll get the next inhibitor. So the next inhibitor you want to grab is actually going to be right here on the building directly in front of you um, or across from you from the one we just grabbed. And you can kind of see it's this building right here. It's going to be on a lower level, so you want to get as high as you can on this building and then jump and use your paraglider and then we'll get all the way over here and uh, there's going to be a window that we can jump into as we get over here on this side. Gotta be really careful here because it's going to be a tight turn to get into the window. And there it is. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> gonna have to go all the way around the building to get in here. And then it's just right here behind this desk. Again, there looks like to be a mine. So definitely be careful of that. Uh, because if you if you don't notice it, you're going to have a bad day. But there's the next inhibitor. So the next three inhibitors are going to be outside of the map. And I do want to thank this person on Facebook. Um, they actually pointed out to me where they're located. But the very first one that we're going to go over is the one in the wharf. So it's going to be right over here outside the bounds. Uh, you're going to have to do a lot of swimming. Um, I will fast forward through that. But basically, you just want to head outside of the PK Fortress. And I come over here where this tower is. And then you just want to jump in the water and start swimming. Um, I'm going to do a fast forward just to kind of show you the path you need to take for swimming. But uh, yeah, just follow what I do. All right, so here it is. We found it in the water. Like I said, it takes a while to get over here just because you have to swim a lot. But you open it up and here is the next inhibitor. The next inhibitor is actually located at the dam, which is kind of right here. You'll come across this place, I think, at least a couple of times during the story. Um, the easiest time to get this is probably during the Veronica mission, uh, because right at the beginning, you do have to kind of come right over here and go into this building here. But you can see just right over here, we'll just pop in the water. And let me hop up a little bit so you can kind of see where I am. It's just completely dark in there. So it's right between this first and second um, pillar thing. But yeah, just come right over here next to the door and you'll come right down here. And then we'll open up this chest and get the next inhibitor. So the final inhibitor is actually going to be located in the same area where you do the Let's Waltz mission. Now, you cannot do this one during that mission just because you need a paraglider to get over here. And uh, you won't have a paraglider until after that mission. So it's going to be right over here on this little bridge. And the reason you need a paraglider is because there is a ton and ton, ton, ton of chemicals in this area, which um, they fixed after I made a video before the 1.2 patch um, showing how to get over to the central loop early. And there was an easy way to get to this bridge. So what you need to do is basically just make your way across um, kind of like the bridge, like you're doing the Let's Waltz mission. And when you get to the part where you have to go across this uh, cable, don't go across the cable yet. Because there's the bridge right there. So let's just go ahead and get a good running jump. And then use the paraglider. Like I said, it doesn't have to be upgraded all the way because we're just going right here. But you need it to get over here. Otherwise, you just won't make it. Let's go ahead and land right here. And it's actually going to be inside this container here. So let's open this up. And then once this is open, we shall grab the final inhibitor and we'll have all 30 inhibitors. And I will upgrade it just to show you that I have all of them. So we'll open it up. Here's the inhibitors. All right, let's open up the skills. So you can see I've got 10 upgrades. New game plus equals max. Inhibitors gathered is 126. So I have all the inhibitors. And so let's just go ahead and I'll fast forward through this a little bit. 
And there we go. Now it's at max. So I've got 700 health and 700 stamina is the maximum amount you can have. And then your immunity maxes out at 314 as well. So that is all the new inhibitors that you can get. And uh, now you can have both maximum health and stamina. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Dying Light content, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also check out my community discord where you can talk to me and others as well as find people to play with online. I'll have that linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.